We scarred from the streets, that's the mark of the beast The house should not cover it or not Running your charm and your peace, I'm heartless The black market should be marketing me My uh, What the hell was that? What was that? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! You gotta be joking me! Is he pulling my leg? We got another Nick Cannon diss track to Eminem. He said the invitation wasn't enough. He said pray for him wasn't enough. Now we got canceled invitation featuring M. This time it better not be no bad rappers with you. Let's see if you do this by yourself, and hopefully third time's the charm. Hit that subscribe button, I drop videos every day. Slime Shady EP coming soon, my name is Screw, we getting right into it. We gonna go in this unbiased, hopefully Nick, you, you cook, ready, set, go. Oh yeah, it ain't over, motherfucker. There's a line on there that, you know, was a little Here's what they think harsh. about you. <laughs> Okay, I think, okay, so Nick is starting now trying to establish that Eminem has been talking about Mariah Carey a lot throughout his career, maybe trying to show that, uh, paint a picture, maybe Eminem is a little, has an obsession with her, that's what he trying to do, I didn't say it, maybe he did. Huh? He's trying to paint his picture. Hmm? All right, let's see where you're going with this. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're 36 seconds into this. 36 seconds into this. And so far, you've been looping the same track. Do not tell me, hold on, Nick, I know this ain't going to be your strategy, this track. You ain't going to try to cancel them, are you? And if so, I ain't even mad at that. How are you going about doing it? Are you looping these? Because I thought you were looping them to show that he always he was talking about Mariah Carey. Are you looping these just to show that he said certain things that aren't politically correct now? Good luck with that battle. They've been trying that strategy for a long time. Really ain't been working. I'm just saying. Okay. How would you feel like in a sort of eight mile battle okay. contest with Nick Cannon? I think that's really think about where you've got to feel some swag pressure right now okay. because it's on, baby. Is it on? I think it's going to be on. I think I think you and him will have to go. Here's what they think about. Bye. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, I know that was Tim Westwood. Tim Westwood TV. Tim Westwood. Now let's keep it a buck. Tim Westwood be off that uh, a jolly good bloke sometimes. <laughs> he be off that spot of tea sometimes. We know Westwood be off that spot of tea. He know damn well he don't believe Nick Cannon gonna really put up some fight for him. In a battle. Come on. Here's what they think about. I didn't want to take it to that level, man. I didn't want to take it. You might get like I didn't want it to get to that level. Here's what they think about. Here's what they think about. All right, get to the bars, man. Here's what they think about. Family, family, family. This cannot be the whole track. I'm trying to shoot you some bail, Nick. Like, the internet is killing you, God. I'm trying to... I be the unbiased John. I be trying, man. I'm not afraid to say if someone beats Eminem or dogs Eminem. But I haven't seen someone do it yet. I mean, not on the mic. I've heard some people roast them pretty funny. But come on, Nick. See, you go need more. We don't believe you. You need more people. Come on, man. That pussy got him 
Trying to tell him this chick's a nut job. Here okay. he got his things clipped. Yep. Here's what they think about you. Chick's a nut job. Here's what they think about you. You're not gonna do shit. Here's what they think okay. about you. You're not gonna do shit. You're not gonna do shit. Here's what okay. they think about you. You know, man, it's it's like this. Like, the way I look at it, I said it. It wasn't. You know, it wasn't like I had no idea that he was gonna take it like he took it. He took it. I had no idea that Nick Cannon was gonna start wilding on him, wilding on him, wilding. Fam. First of all, shout out to whoever uh, got those clips for you and um, told you that you had uh, you had ether on your hands. But uh, what the hell was that? What was that? Was this a song or a or a, a much dank compilation? We're a minute and forty six seconds and not a bar spit yet. Come on, Nick. Come on. Come on. Ah! But we still got like, what, three minutes left exactly. So now we see why I said feature Eminem. Motherfucker. Okay. He's been disrespecting our queens for years. Matter of fact, won't you tell him how you really feel, Marshall? Okay, so so yeah, this is a much so this is a much dank compilation. This ain't a song. He got a bunch of clips together and he he gluing them together for comedic effect. I get it, I get it. He came here with the exposing. Oh, okay, no, he Junior B Jones with it. Oh no, <laughs> Sherlock Holmes with it. I feel you. <laughs> He got the clips together and said, oh, this is going to be the ether right here. We're going to get off on this one. I will say, I mean, we all knew that this clip had came out. Um, this has been something that's been haunting Eminem's career his whole life um but i will say regardless now i know a lot of people are gonna try to go in this angle like oh this is stupid why would he do that of course it's dumb and all of this up to this point is stupid but i'm gonna keep it a buck that's potent he's using his words against him and i feel like i get it this is old news but it's nothing is new under the sun it's about how you repurpose it and how you make it your own so, what I'm saying is he gets half a point for this sample that he's using and for the fact that I might not have to cut this because he's sampling M on this record and if he somehow tries to sample, I mean, tries to claim this song, I might drop a diss track on him. If he tries to claim this video by just flipping M, I might have to drop, I might have to drop a track. I'm just saying. Because then you, now, now you're personally talking about me and my job. I'm just saying. Chill. Let's let's see what we're doing. Ah, uh, my nigga hit him with the uh, uh one fish, uh, uh, two fish, uh, red fish, uh, blue fish, uh, swan, my brother. <laughs> My swan, ding, my swan is quite fine. Now, what I won't do is I ain't going to be some of these other YouTubers out here who act like there ain't no problem with race. There ain't no, like, who are just just so the other crowd don't get mad at them. There is that. I am very sickened at Eminem for ever being able to say that, right? But that came out when he was mad young and he's already apologized for that. I feel it. I feel it. Here's what I'm going to say, though. Nick Cannon, eh, 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 it's not quite it. This gonna be your whole angle. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this being your whole angle. But body this angle then. I haven't really heard no bars that I heard. We we let you in here and guessed in that. You still gotta body them. There's no nothing wrong with Balan M and using this angle. I mean, there's no such thing as a bad angle. It's about how you use it. 
Had to put my motherfucking turban on. Outside your motherfucking suburban on. Protesting with AKs and guns. All queens don't need your racism. You didn't okay. get that K, this generation. Okay, K, K, did I take it too far? He's a rap star. Run, nigga, run. Stand in my ground. Who this long? Okay, alright. I see what you're doing. Why is his rap voice so. Why are you rap? I don't. Somebody explain to me why does he rap like that? That's so odd to me. He raps like his mom is in the other room and she has guests over or something. Like he why you rap like that? Put some bass in your ish, man. Give a fuck his ass what you can't let that slide, that's on my son. So I damn right, yeah, I'm on one. Cause ain't no age, for white rage. Specifically in your DNA. I'm seeing you at the VMA. Um, niggas that was with you, you treated them like indentured slaves. Oh damn. I saw you at the VMAs, the black people who was with you, treat them like indentured slaves. I just, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I don't want to go in this rant right now. But y'all going to leave Eminem alone with this, with this, with this angle. Now, here's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to be these. There are plenty of other white rappers that this angle would body. There are plenty of of white people in the industry who do do this. There's plenty of people in the world who do do this. But y'all gonna leave Eminem alone and stop. Because y'all get Eminem to the point where he has to over pander. It's like, bro, Eminem basically only signs black people if you think about it. Eminem's friend group is basically only black. He grew up with basically all black people. The people, if you listen to his favorite rappers growing up, they were all black. He hated the white rappers. He disses white rappers every chance he gets. Y'all gonna stop doing that. Y'all gonna stop acting like this dude is Macklemore or he's some... Stop that shit, man. Quit it, bro. Quit it. M grew up where, 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 where Proof grew up, where, where Royce grew up, and if they're street, then he's street. Stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Paper, you racist, I see why you hate us. Pretend you love us, but you really jealous. Wanna be brothers, Christopher Columbus. Hip hop, wish you discovered. No, I'ma slay you for my sister's cousin's daughter's nose. Oh, oh, my bad, let me get this camera right. <sighs> yeah, man, we gonna stop doing this angle with M, man. We gonna stop doing this. Every time somebody does this angle with M, I know it's because they, they, don't, they don't got nothing else to say. This is such an angle that is used on M that M wrote it into 8 Mile. You feel me? Like, I, I'm not a fan of this angle for M. But one thing I won't do too is, and I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of YouTubers who react to this. And, Wop, bop, baloo, bop, ba, da, bop, bam, to the fruity. Yeah, M ain't do nothing wrong by saying that ever. Wop, bop, baloo, bop. I'm sure they're going to do that. What I will say is, the issue isn't that there's nothing wrong with what M said on the sample. There's absolutely, fundamentally, horribly wrong. The problem with Nick's angle is what M has gone through in the backlash and what he has lived up to after this. You know what this is like? This is like using Kevin Hart's old tweets against him for the grand. I, and I, and Nick was somebody who literally was going off on people for doing that. So it's like. I get it, it's a battle, but it's like you look weirdly hypocritical. And if you're going to go with the race angle, then I'll repeat, there's nothing wrong with the race angle in a battle. You could do a whole battle like that. But you got to have enough stuff in there that's going to keep it fly hard. You got to put a, uh, you got to mm, do the whole thing, you know what I mean? But like, I will keep repeating, M saying this is horrible. Hearing this that M could ever say this is horrifying. We're not going to allow that to like rewrite history like that's not wrong. The part that I'm cool with is that this isn't how M feels anymore. And this is literally was like, um, uh, what was it? Was it Cheech or Chong? They literally had a song like this and he was doing a parody of it. Hey. <laughs> Okay. We let you be a guest in this house, but now you can't so swear. Just for Rosa and Coretta, Asada and Loretta, Betty, Rosetta, Angela, hell you, Doc. Nigga, this is what I hate too, bro. You know what? This is going to be one reaction. I don't watch other people's reactions, but I am definitely not going to watch other YouTubers' reactions because I already know it's about to be... Uh, 
yes sir time. I can already tell it's about to be yes sir time. But um, uh, if you, I'm not mad at Nick saying what he's saying, right? I don't even think it's corny. I think that it's too passionate of a thing to talk about with the delivery he has. This is for Mahalia. You got, this is from Mahalia Coretta. You got to, if you're going to come like that, you got to come like that. Huh? If you're going to be too milly, be too milly. Nigga, what guess you talking about? You whispering to this nigga. The Bethune's, the Jonah, she the truth. I do it for the culture. New Oprah in the booth. Told you, Ma, told you. The new Oprah in the booth. I'm not too happy at Oprah right now either. Yo ass, she wasn't guessing our house. I'm trying to find out who the fuck let this pest in our house. Close the door, apology tour for sure. They gon' say I'm race baiting. But I had to lure them with the hate just to Read keep the Satan. paper, you racist. I see why you hate us. Pretend you love us, but you really jealous. Won't have been brothers. Ah, he ran up for Columbus. Hip hop wish you discovered no one. I will say lyrically, this is the best Nick Cannon track yet, but the, somebody gotta take him to delivery school. Somebody gotta be like, yo, nigga. I'm going to teach you how to deliver a verse because your verses be Hangarbo Yeah With the delivery I'm going to slay you for my sister's cousin's daughter's nose Black girls are bitches Black girls are bitches Black girls are bitches I'm going to say this right now. I'm not going to cut this uh, cut this reaction. I, well, if you saw that this video was cut, just know I'm about this close from dissing Nick Cannon. About this close. Because I can't let that coin in slide. You heard him. This is how you feel about us. We just going to keep letting that ride? Oh, yeah, the hopping bob and all the mother house Negroes that keep defending this motherfucker. Come on, bro. Holla at me. I got some books you should read. Oh, and Marshall, I tried to give you an invitation. And the invitation's canceled. 